Meet the successor to the Nokia 6300, one of the most successful models of the manufacturer to date. This is the Nokia 6700 Classic that comes in the same design language but looks more stylish and appealing. To keep in line with modern times, the phone is equipped with a 5 megapixel camera, fast 3G and a new WebKit based browser plus a GPS and accelerometer. Just like its predecessor, the handset is made of high quality materials including metal and it feels as if you are holding an RT model when you have it in your hands. A fine piece of workmanship indeed. You can see it measures a really compact size although this doesn't apply to its weight. You have the distinct feeling it's in your pocket while carrying around but being really thin it doesn't make your pocket bulge out. The phone sports a 2.2 inch TFT display with a resolution of 240 by 320 pixels and 16 million color support. Images retain their vivid and saturated colors in artificial light conditions and the screen remains usable in direct sunlight as well. The overall quality however simply cannot compare to what AMOLED devices deliver. Aside from the D-pad all other buttons are flush with the surface and don't feel clearly discernible to touch. We didn't encounter any issues using the functional or the send and end keys but we're displeased with the keypad buttons. They are hard to press and you'll be better off if you avoid typing messages with them. There isn't a single button on the left hand side of the device and there are only two on the opposite. One of them is the extremely unhandy to manipulate, hard to press and almost unusable volume rocker. The second is the shutter that switches on the 5 megapixel camera which is equipped with autofocus and LED flash and located on the back side. Like all other feature phones of the manufacturer, the 6700 Classic runs on the S40 interface, utilizing its latest 6th edition version. It improves on certain features alongside of the previous edition and there are novelties in the phone browser, flashlight player, the GPS receiver's option to be used by third-party apps, visual changes in the interface, new features in the MMS functionality, as well as general improvements to the system stability. The home screen can appear extremely simplified or set to show a multitude of information and allow you access to a variety of applications. Similarly to the widgets of the Nokia N97, up to four different tabs can be placed on the home screen notifying you of different events or indicating varied information. Of course, all four can be customized in your own taste and permit easy personalization. The MMS version has been updated to 1.3 and the maximum size of a message is now 600 kilobytes. There are no changes affecting the SMS or email functionality. If you get down to writing a message, you see a field at the lower part of the screen allowing you to turn an ordinary text message to an MMS, like really fast. Setting up the email client requires that you just enter your username and password because the telephone automatically finds all necessary settings provided you have signed up with a popular service provider. The brand new browser is now a WebKit based app that features full HTML support. Page is visualized properly and text is automatically reformatted so as to fit on screen. Plus a small map pops up after extended scrolling but it unfortunately fails to give a clear idea of where exactly onto the page you are. The option called Show Miniature is actually pretty much the same as Page Overview and has similar function. The Flash Player is updated to version 3, although this doesn't mean you're getting full flash support, but rather you'll be able to see page elements that fail to show with FlashWide 2.1. The interface of the 5 megapixel camera of the Nokia 6700 starts in a snap and looks much better than the one on the S40 5th edition handsets. You have several color effects 
white balance and brightness settings. But all the rage features like face and smile detection have been left out. Still, snapshot quality is much more important. It's actually passable with pictures taken in broad daylight but things deteriorate fast in the dark. Snapshots taken when there is not enough light, lack enough details and the flash itself create a weird, irritating effect, a blue line that appears across images. Video capture is by no means impressive either. Despite the good overall quality and high maximum resolution of 640 by 480 pixels, the allowed frames per second are only 15, which ultimately leads to videos that stutter. There are novelty features in both the media player and the FM radio. The way both apps look now depends on the theme you have selected. The media player allows content filtering by several criteria and plays videos as well. Audio quality through the box headset is mediocre and failed to impress us in any way. As a whole, the Nokia 6700 Classic is a top performing handset. In call quality is very good on both ends of the line and voices sound loud and clear which paired with the new dainty design and all modern features the phone cams equipped with like fast 3G and good internet browser makes the Nokia 6700 a worthy successor to the 6300 and buying it means money well spent.